Hey everybody, we'll be discussing APLA syndrome in this short video. What is APLA syndrome? APLA syndrome is antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. And how does it affect obstetrics or what does it do? It basically causes abortions or pregnancy losses or even preeclampsia and abruption. And this is because it inhibits the trophoblastic function thereby causing placental dysfunction. So it is implicated as a cause of abortions and especially recurrent pregnancy losses. Now the other thing you need to know is how do you define or how do you diagnose APLA? It is diagnosed based on something called Sapporo's criteria. And this is this what Sapporo's criteria says is that to diagnose APLA, you should have one clinical and one lab criteria. So one clinical, any one clinical criteria plus any one lab criteria is sufficient to diagnose APLA. Now, what are the clinical criteria? Under the clinical criteria, you have obstetric and vascular. So, what is the obstetric criteria which you should have to say it is APLA syndrome? You should have either a woman who has had three or more miscarriages at less than 10 weeks, or she's had the loss of one or more morphologically normal fetus after 10 weeks, or she's had preeclampsia enough in, in, uh, severe enough to necessitate delivery before 34 weeks so any of these obstetric criteria or the vascular criteria which is any evidence of arterial venous or microvascular thrombosis in any site or any organ so any of these four three obstetric or one vascular criteria plus one lab criteria what is the lab criteria the lab criteria is presence of the lupus anticoagulant or IgG, IgM, anti-cardiolipin antibody positive or if the beta 2 glycoprotein is positive any of these three if it is there and if after repeating at 12 weeks also is positive then we say it is APLA syndrome. So one clinical criteria plus one lab criteria makes it makes a diagnosis of APLA syndrome. And the third important thing you need to know is how do you treat APLA? So if you've diagnosed APLA, what should you do in pregnancy? So a woman who's APLA positive, if she conceives, you, what you need to do is two things. Number one, as soon as she's pregnant, start her on low dose aspirin. And the second thing that you need to do is you have to start her on low molecular weight heparin once cardiac activity is confirmed. So two things again, start her on ecosprin as soon as she's pregnant and the second thing as soon as cardiac activity appears on the ultrasound that is usually at six weeks we start her on low molecular weight heparin so this is all you need to know about APLA syndrome for your exam